Hey everybody, I'm Joe Deganzik and you're on Smarter Home Life. Create earlier this month uh, introduced, uh, announced that they had completely redesigned and redeveloped their entire consumer LED product line. Now, Cree has been with us for uh, several decades. They basically introduced the world to white LED light. And in 2013, they introduced this, the first sub $10 LED light bulb that basically revolutionized the consumer light bulb uh, industry, the LED <clears throat> version of it. And they've redesigned the bulb every year since and this is the version of it that is that is around um, for this season for 2016 and their entire family of bulbs now looks something like this so now begs the question of should you upgrade should you make the jump to led or the latest led they almost inferred that consumers should just make the upgrade every two years when you upgrade your smartphone but i'm not so sure about that now We've arrived at commodity pricing. You can find these at Home Depot, depending on your area and local you know, utility incentives. I found these for just under $13 for a four pack, which is really impressive pricing. That's about $3 and some change for a quality LED bulb, right? And you can see all the information, 60, 60 watt equivalent, soft white, fully dimmable, all those things. We'll give you the details later. Should you upgrade? Taking all of that information into account, if you never upgraded, if you're on CFL, halogen, incandescent, and you don't have something against going with new technology like LED, then I would say upgrade. You're going to save money, absolutely. You're gonna save money, save energy, um, all of those good things. If you upgraded to LED five to, six, five to six years ago, you're probably experiencing some of the issues with those original LED bulbs. Uh, premature failure, flickering, dimming issues, noise, weird coloring, and so forth. So I would say, unless you're not having those issues and you love what you have, it could be uh, worthwhile to take a look at upgrading. If you're in the modern era, uh, 2014, 2015, you've got the latest and greatest, I think, you know, the old line, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, um, unless you're having serious challenges or you just want to upgrade to the latest stuff. Now, these products are in Home Depot stores as of, well, they were here in Phoenix as of this weekend. They should be hitting all Home Depot stores, at least in North America, uh, within the next week or so. So now you're going to say, all right, give me the details. What actually changed? Here we go. The original Cree bulb used a filament tower with 20 LEDs and a silicone-coated glass globe. In 2014 and 2015, the four-flow design used a translucent plastic shell with two LEDs in each quadrant and vented convection cooling. This year's Cree bulb changes to a more standard design and, after we broke it open, it's extremely durable, by the way. You can see that Cree went back to using 20 LEDs, this time arranged in two circular patterns that point upward illuminating the plastic diffuser quite uniformly. Here's the specs on the new 2016 Cree 60 watt equivalent soft white A19 LED bulb, also available in daylight white. It retains essentially the same energy use as last year's Cree bulb at 9.5 watts, but is now redesigned. Unfortunately, the new sealed design prevents its use in fully enclosed fixtures. The new design also means that while the plastic bulb shell will still be only barely warm to the touch, the base will get quite hot, just like Cree's original bulb. Dimming is now entirely flicker-free and can go as low as 1% brightness on some dimmers. But as you can see from these photos, your results will vary. We can confirm, however, that flicker at low brightness levels is now a thing of the past with the new Cree bulb. Cree has extended this bulb's warranty period to 10 years and renamed it to a satisfaction guarantee, but essentially it's the same thing. By the way, the expected life of the bulb at more than 22 years is still the same. While still available to purchase as single bulbs, the new four packs are a great deal and can be found at the Home Depot for less than $13, depending on local utility incentives. Finally, the bulb's CRI is now 85 or greater. 
So I thought I would briefly explain that last item, CRI, and what does it mean. It's part of what Cree talks about with its Better Light campaign. Color rendering index simply means how well a certain light source renders colors to the human eye. And it's measured against our best light source at the top of the CRI scale, the sun. Normally, all of this is measured by scientific instruments, and of course, to the human eye, it's all very subjective. So because Cree is phasing out its older consumer LED products, I thought, let's put the Cree bulb and another bulb to the test, two of which, of course, you'll find on the Home Depot shelves. One of which, of course, is the Cree, and the other is Home Depot's own brand, EcoSmart. Both are 60-watt equivalent, both are at soft white and both are at full brightness without being on a dimmer. These two photos of crunchy and colorful sliced bell peppers are completely unretouched and were taken straight from the camera. Remember that both light and color are very subjective and that these images may appear different on different screens. So which one is better? You decide. So there you have it. It's our review of the latest offering from Cree, and we'll have individual reviews of the new products coming up. We didn't issue a buyer's guide for LED lighting for 2016 because the industry realized that really hasn't changed all that much in general. And now we're just basically reviewing individual products that seem to be unique and interesting that you'll find on store shelves. And speaking of buying things off of store shelves, I want to thank our Patreon supporters, uh, most notably our newest one who just joined recently, Clay. They make purchases like this possible. Uh, they help support the monthly production budget and purchases of products to test when manufacturers don't happen to uh, send us them. Uh, and they keep the show going month after month and being successful on into the future. You can join them at patreon.com slash smarter home life and I certainly hope that you will do so otherwise I'll close up the show if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel on YouTube and otherwise I'm Joe Deganzik reminding you to make your home a little smarter every single day thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>